What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to create a page to list all of our followers for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to create a separate page to list all of our followers. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in our Django Twitter clone app. In this video, we want to look at this followed by section. And you can see right here, we've got a few followers, right? But in reality, you might have hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, millions of followers, and we can't list millions of followers in this little section right here. So we need to have some sort of cutoff like 10 or five or whatever, and then a little link that goes to another page that has all of them listed or as many as we want to list. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check it out if you haven't so far. So we're gonna create a separate page for all of these followers and we need a URL for that. So let's head over to our urls.py. So I'm gonna come up to this profile link right here and I'm gonna copy it. And let's just paste it in right below. But instead of profile, let's go profile slash followers slash that, right? So instead of this being views.profile, let's have it say views.followers. And for the name, let's say followers. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna need now a view and a template. So let's head over to our templates, right click new file, and let's go file, save as, and I'm gonna call this followers.html. And we'll leave this for now. Let's also now go over to our views.py file and let's find our profile section. There we go. And maybe under here, let's define followers. We wanna pass in the request. We also wanna pass in that primary key, PK, right? So for here, right now, if we head back over to our website and look at the profile list page, this is already listing profiles. So we're gonna kind of swap out some stuff from here, I think it's probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. So let's head up to our profile list view and I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. And let's head back to our followers section. I'm just gonna pop all this in here. So the first thing we want is to make sure that the user is logged in. So if the request.user. is authenticated, we want to do this stuff. Otherwise, we want to redirect them back to the homepage and say, hey, you got to be logged in, right? But the next thing we want to do is make sure that it's us, right? So if you are on your profile and you want to see your followers, you can, but you maybe not necessarily can see everybody else's, right? So maybe we want this, maybe we don't, maybe we'll tweak this later. But for now, I just want only the person that's logged in to be able to see their followers, just to see how to do that, if nothing else. So let's say if request.user.id equals that primary key that we're passing in right here, right? If you know the primary key is the same as the user ID, that means it's our page, right? Otherwise it's somebody else's and we don't want people to see that. So if that's the case, let me just tab this over here. We'll do all this stuff. Else we again want to redirect here, but instead of it saying, you know, hey, you must be logged in, let's have it say, that's not your profile page or something like that, right? Okay, instead of sending this to profile list.html, let's send it to followers.html. And we'll leave this profiles thing for now because we're going to want to send that information in. Okay, so now this profiles thing, we need to look up the profile for this page. We could have it say request user or we can go primary key. But instead of user, it's gonna be user underscore ID. So we wanna look up the profile with the user of primary key that we're gonna pass in in the link when we click on it to go to this page. So, all right, that looks good there. Everything looks good. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and save this. Now let's head over to our followers.html page and let's go to our profile list page. Let me just copy all of this and paste this in. We're gonna need to tinker with this a little bit though. So first we're saying, hey, if there are profiles, that's good. 
And then let's say for profile in profiles, but we don't necessarily want for profile in profiles. We want for profile in profiles dot followed by dot all. That looks good. And we're gonna wanna tweak this in a bit, but I think that should do it for now. So let's go ahead and save this. Now let's head over to our profile page, profile.html, there it is. And let's scroll down here to the followed by section. There we go. And underneath this somewhere, let's see, right here maybe. Let's throw on a line break and say test. Go ahead and save this, head back over here, go to our profile page. And then right there it says test. Okay, so we're in the right spot for now. Let's head back over here and let's create a link for this guy. Instead of this saying test, let's say a href equals, let's say see all dot dot dot. And inside of here, give us some room here. Let's create a Django URL tag and this is gonna be sent to followers. And this is gonna be profile.user.id. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, reload, and we see this see all link. It says followers slash one because we are the number one user there. So if we click on this, we see a profile list. Nothing's happening here. We gotta tweak this a little bit, but okay. Now, if we try to go to two, it says that's not your profile page and it won't let us do it. So, okay, that works, that's pretty cool. Now, how do we limit the number here? Well, we can do that real quick while we're at it. Let's come up here. And so for following in profile.followedby.all, we just wanna put a slice with let's say only three, right? So if we save this, head back over here, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, if we hit reload, now it's only three, one, two, three. So you could put any amount here. I would put, I don't know, maybe 10 or something, right? Or five, that seems to be a good number, whatever. Now this see all link, that's a little wonky. Let's head over to get bootstrap real quick. Click on docs, scroll down to cards. And here's our card that we're using. Let's see, there's a footer one, there we go. So let's grab this card footer thing. Just copy this in there real quick. So oh, come back down here, just paste that in and move this guy over. There we go. Save this, head back over here, hit reload. Oh, that doesn't look great. <laughs> We're gonna need to fiddle with this and put it not right there, but maybe there. I don't know, we'll have to play with this. There we go, that looks better. Click on this, goes to our profile list. All right, so head back over to our followers page. So instead of the same profile list, let's instead have it say request.user.username and then z followers. Save this, head back over here, hit reload. Okay, so admins followers, that looks good. Now let's play with this. So for profile in profiles, that should work. So that looks good. There must be a problem with our view. Oh, <laughs> we don't want to dot exclude. We want to dot get. All right, so that should do the trick there. Let's head back over here and hit reload. Okay, so we've got these things. Now, wouldn't it be nice if we could just also follow or unfollow them ourselves from this page as well? And we kind of worked on this in the last video. So let's head over to our profile. And let's come down up here where we worked in the last video. And here we got this if statement where we can follow or unfollow. So let's just copy this, head back over to our followers page. And I think next to the name itself. So let's look through here. Here's their image. And here's their username. So right next to that, underneath it, let's just paste all that in. And there we go. Well, it's, look, it's looking sloppy, but let's see. Maybe we can move some of this over to make it easier to read. I don't know. There we go, a little bit better. So we need to tinker with this. These aren't gonna be following.userID. This is gonna be profile.userID because we're lip looping through here with profile. And same thing with this guy here, profile. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website. 
Hit reload, and now we have nothing but pluses. So something's gone wrong here. So let's head back over here, and let's see what we did here. So, uh, oh, we gotta change this also. So profile in, there we go. So save this, add back over here, hit reload again, and okay, so now we can plus or minus. So if we're already following them, we would wanna unfollow. So for instance, Wes, if we go back to our profile, we're following Wes, right? So here it shows Wes is following us. We're already following him. So if we wanted to unfollow him, we would click this guy, boom, you have successfully unfollowed Wes. Now, if we head back over here, we can see we are no longer following Wes, but this now is negative. So something going on here. So let's see, and look at through here, if profile, oh, so this should be profiles. All right, save this, head back over here, hit reload. Now we're good. So we're not following Wes, and we can confirm that here. He's not in the list. Uh, but if we want to follow him, boom, you have successfully followed Wes. And he's now in the group again. And also we can unfollow him here. So, all right, a little bit sloppy, but I think we've got it now. So, okay, pretty cool. Now, so we've got this limited here to only three people showing. To see the rest of them, we can click here to see all. These are all the people that are following us. If they have a profile picture, it shows it here. We can click on their thing and go to their profile. That's cool. We can follow and unfollow with these little icons. If we try to go to somebody else's page, oh, no, you can't because you have to be logged into your account to see your followers. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. Uh, you could just take that part out of the view that we worked on earlier in this video if you don't like that and you want anybody to be able to see, but then you're gonna need some logic in the page itself. So for instance, you're not gonna want these little things to show unless it's the correct user because then anybody could just unfollow anybody's you know, list. You know, I could go to Bob's list and have him unfollow all of those people if I wanted to, and you don't want that in there. So that's why we do that. So, all right, so looking pretty good and we are moving right along and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.